Hey, Amanda from the Happy Homestead here. So in my last video, if you haven't seen it, check it out, my Azure Standard Hall. It was our pickup, our last pickup for December of 2021. I got 25 pounds of carrots and I think these are five, yeah, 15 pounds of potatoes. And in that video, I had mentioned that I have a very particular way of storing them through the winter. And so that's what I wanna show you today because I've got to get this done. So I have two five gallon buckets. These are food grade, just got them at my local hardware store. Now I don't get the lid that, this is the standard lid that you can get with those buckets. I like to get a gamma lid. Uh, my store was out of the gamma lids. So I got this type of lid and set. it's very similar, but the gamma has a cross, this is just a single. I'm sure it'll work fine. So when you buy your bucket and you buy the lid, you actually have to put the lip on the bucket first. So I've already done that with one, I'll do that with the other one in a little bit, but you gotta use a mallet and get this on and then this can screw on. So just wanna make sure you understood that. So we are going to start with our potatoes. Our winters, our December is not too bad, but January and February are normally our coldest months. And so in our garage, it is absolutely in the 40s at any given time of the day. So it's perfect root cellaring weather or <laughs> temperatures, perfect root cellaring temperatures. And so I don't have a root cellar. You probably don't either. This is a really good way to buy some items in bulk and then store them for your own use without having to worry about them going bad. Now, I cannot do this in the summer. I cannot do this in the fall. So I can only do this about two, maybe three months out of the year. You might have um, a situation where you can do it longer wherever you are. But I wanted to show this technique because it's really simple, easy, and affordable. So all you need is your food grade bucket and your produce. We're gonna start with the potatoes. And then I have a bag of potting mix. Now you do not wanna go into your yard and get dirt because there's all kinds of bacteria and there could be bugs and worms and anything that could eat your food. So you actually want to go buy a bag of potting mix. It can be organic, it's totally up to you. It does not have to be the expensive fancy kind, but this mix has been sterilized so that it doesn't have all that other bacteria that you don't want. And then at the end of all of this, when I'm done, I just dump the dirt in my garden. It's a win-win. So I'm gonna start with putting some dirt in the bucket. I just have a Tupperware container here. And this has been sitting in the garage. So this is actually quite clumpy, but. And then I'm going to start with my yellow potatoes. Now, normally I'd probably just do one with red, one with yellow, but I only have five pounds of the red. So I'm gonna start with the yellow. Now you wanna start with potatoes that are clean, blemish-free, that are not rotting. If you put anything in here that is already rotting or has some issues, it's just gonna exasperate it within the, the bucket. So. so I'm just laying them in. Preferably they don't really touch each other. And then you're gonna be surrounding them with dirt. So this really mimics what would be happening in your garden, right? And normally people, when they're trying to keep potatoes over winter, they're gonna be keeping them in the ground anyway, below the frost line. It keeps them cold and protected. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Okay, that is plenty. I'm gonna get another layer of dirt in here.
is the last of them, and this is number five. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get the all the red ones in. So I will get in for what I can, and the rest of them I will probably just store in the garage in the bag just like this, but use these first. Okay. Okay. So, not too many left, but enough for probably three or four meals. That's fine for now. That's good. So now I'm going to put the lid on. Baby boy, <laughs> get off the potato. <sighs> and so one bucket is done. So now I know I have a little over 10 pounds of organic potatoes in here that'll keep through the winter perfectly. The other bag, like I said, I'll just keep it in the garage because it'll be much cooler than keeping it in the house. And we'll just go through these first. So the next bucket I'm gonna do is our carrot. Okay, so same principle here. I'm gonna put some dirt in the bottom. And get the carrots. So I did this last year with a lot of success, um, but it was an experiment that worked so well. Our carrots lasted, oh my gosh, well, definitely all through January and February. And so here, I'm just, you'll see, I'm lining them up parallel. And the next layer, I'm going to go uh, perpendicular. And so um, I noticed last year that if I had any carrots that had some sprouts on it, that they actually will start to really continue to sprout in the bucket. That's still very much okay. As you can see, I didn't get all of the carrots in, but I'm gonna get another bucket, I'm gonna get another bag of dirt, and I'm gonna do the same exact process with the rest of these carrots. So I'll have one bucket of potatoes and two buckets of carrots. So I hope you found this useful. I, like I said, I did this last year and it was like a light bulb had gone off. Like I can totally store, you know, these types of things in our garage over the winter and not have to go to the grocery store. So in our garage right now, we have our onions, we have our carrots, and we have our potatoes, and they should last between two and three months with our cold temperatures. So let me know if you try this. Let me know what you think, if you do something similar. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Stay healthy. Stay well. Bye-bye.